Hello, beautiful, and welcome to makeup. Oh, Pilaf is back. Pilaf is back, and she is so excited. Oh, I am so excited. Why? Why I hear you ask? Because this is Pilaf's entry into the next Australia New Zealand Face Awards. Pilaf has been brainstorming how to really showcase her skills, and she's been thinking, "Wow, Pilaf, you are such a beautiful, dainty rose among so many thorns." So therefore, Pilaf is going to make herself a bronze goddess. With all of that said and done, with too much coffee bursting through my veins. Let us get on to the makeup. Today's look, I'm going to focus on my goggles first, which is nothing different to usual. So we are going to paint those and then go on with the rest of the look, the rest of the masterpiece that is going to be our skin and our face. And oh, we are just going to have such a delicious time today. So just get any brush that you have or a sponge. If you're a sponge goddess, where is my brush? There it is. And then just paint your goggles. So just paint the scene around your eyes first. Scene stick is also good because it means that all the pigments really, really show up on face. And we have so many beautiful colors to play with today. And I really want to make sure that they are going to be popping from my face. Do our goggles not look stunning? Now that scene stick is on, we are going to start playing with magnificent colors. So the idea that peel off have is brace yourself. Peel off has bought herself two, four, six, eight, who do we appreciate? Pilaf! Pilaf has bought 10 lipsticks. They are specifically soft matte lip creams. Pilaf has bought this many lipsticks in which she is going to paint. She's going to paint all these roses on herself to make her a rose goddess. So I'm going to carry that through with the eye look. So just get your lipstick and apply it kind of like you would apply sin stick. Just put it Oh, Does that color not look stunning? Oh, I'm already so happy with this. This color is called Prague. And then just buff it out with a fluffy brush. I am using what is supposed to be a concealer brush. Because this is liquid that we are using, it is easier to use what you would use to apply concealer. And then we have this cute rose moment. Is that not stunning? And then just get the Copenhagen to put in your crease so that we add a bit of dimension to the beautiful pink that is happening on her eyelids. And then I'm just going to get another clean fluffy brush. And I'm just going to dot that in the crease and a bit onto where I'm going to put my liner. And we are just going to buff this out just to give a bit of that peel off floor, just putting on some makeups. Now that the chalk or the lipstick in this case is on, we are going to cut our crease. Not actually cut because we do not want to hurt our goggles. And then get your best friend again, Sin Stick. Put her on the back of your hand because you know her like back of hand. So it only makes sense to put her there. And then get yourself a cute little brush so that you have nice amount of control over Sin Stick because sometimes best friends have arguments too. And then the way that peel off cuts her crease is she looks down as she does it. Because peel off have big lids. If I do not look down and let it kind of set for a second, it just smudges into all the glorious pink and like, I do not want sin stick everywhere. So just draw along where you want it to go. You just need a good base for the glitter to go on because no look is complete without glitter. The glitter we are going with today is this NYX Foil Play Cream Pigment French Macaroon because we are fancy baby cakes today. And I'm just going to get a brush to pack it on the thin stick. Oh, that looks so cute. And then I'm just going to put that on top. I love this. Oh my gosh. You are glistening like the stars in the sky. Now the glittery pigment is on. We are just going to highlight our inner corners. We are just going to go with a Born to Glow. I do not know what shade this is in because apparently I tear off the back as I was trying to apply to face. But it is kind of like a champagne kind of color because if you have macaroons, you must have champagne because you're fancy. So we are just going to put that on the inner corner just to really brighten up the look. Now that our goggles have been blessed with the eye chalks and the lipsticks, it is time to go on to stress. Pilaf has picked up herself some new liner. It's 
my favorite part because it really makes the makeup look a real look. So I have a super skinny eye marker. So if you are new here, I flick, drag, and I hope for best. Everyone that is not new here, you know. Cross your limbs, cross your fingers, cross your whole, cross everything. Pray for peel off safety. So we are going to flick. There is the flick, there is the drag, and then we fill in the rest. And then just hope that today, left eye agrees. Langer is looking crisp, a little bit of a moment with left eye, but that is okay because we have feathers to save the day, baby cakes. So, the way the peel-off does her lashes, we just get our guillotine, curl them first because peel-off has nice slopey lashes which gives nothing for the feathers to actually grasp onto. So we just give them a light little curl. Oh, just a little bit of a ooh kind of moment. And then just coat them with a bit of mascara. Nothing too, too much, too heavy, just enough so that the lashes do not budge. And then we get to get on to our eye feathers. So just get your pinchy boys, mine are naturally flamingo, get your feathers in between them, squishy them, but not so much that you break them or like guillotine their heads off. And then just get yourself some glue, line it and wait for it to get tacky. While I'm waiting for them to get nice and tacky, with my other hand, I'm going to coordinate to do my brow. So I have this nice little brow, what is it? Brow cake and powder kit. The peel off does her brows. Peel off does not do the Instagram brow, the one where it is nice and sharp, nice and woo, like her liner, because she likes to have fluffy brows. So I'm just going to fill them in with the powder and then I'm going to brush them up with the little gel moment that they have in the corner. Really, I just want my brow to look like they are Cara Delevingne sister. Nice, thick, bushy, caterpillar brows. Are they not fabulous? And just put the eye feathers on, not so that they are going to like tear off your actual lashes when you eventually have to get rid of the masterpiece that is your face. So just put them on and then kind of pinchy them together. Is this not fabulous? Oh, peel off! Peel off has bought herself Sin Stick Big Sister. She has herself some Big Sister Sin Stick. I have some Can't Stop, Won't Stop, Full Coverage Foundation. Brush her in by this NYX eyeshadow base cream gel pot kind of thing with like just white in it which I'm going to use to help blend the magic and then I have my Prague and my Copenhagen lipsticks and I'm going to start buffing into my skin roses so I am naturally a rose goddess and I'm so excited so the way the way that you do this is spend six hours in a mirror so I'm just going to get the gel base pot and a cute little liner brush if you do not have a liner brush a little paint brush will also work. So I'm just going to dip my little liner brush into my gel pot and I'm going to get mirror. I'm doing it on this side of my face because I feel as though this is my best side of my face. And then I'm going to get the gel pot and I'm going to start sketching into my skin some roses. So I think the first rose I'm going to put here. So we're just going to put a cute little inside of rose and then Sketch out the little butt of the rose. The bud, not the butt, the bud. Eh, the bud of the rose. And then we're going to put a little petal here. So it is kind of like a heart. Oh, look at that cute little petal heart. And then we just keep going. So we are going to put another petal here. I think she looks like a stunning rose. Oh, peel off once again. You outdid yourself, baby cakes. Then once you are happy with sketch of rose, pick your color, pick a shade of lipstick. So get yourself some cute little spongy boys. Get your gel pot, get your little brush, get the, and get your choice of lipstick. I am going for a bit of a Denmark moment. I am picking my Copenhagen lipstick. Start at the outside petals, so I feel as though the easiest outermost petal is definitely this bad boy on my face. So just get your gel pot, get some white on it, and outline again. You just want to outline that bad boy again. Then once you have a bit more there, get some of your Copenhagen, or get whatever lipstick you are using, and dab that on your face. Dab on as much or as little as you want. And then once that is on, get your little spongy boy. Mine have thin spongy boy and chubbier spongy boy. Both are good for different purposes. And then we are just going to blend, so peel off, no speaking for a moment, until it is nice and buffed out. So, no speaking. Three, two, one. 
and buff. That way the darkest is on the inside and then it graduates into the outside until you have this nice gradient of dark to light which kind of gives the like light shining down on the petal and then you just keep repeating process. The reason why you do the outside petal first is so that when you get the white gel and you put it on the next petal, so I'm going to go for this one up the top, you fix up the bottom part of the outer petals that you just did. So we put down some white, we just fixed up the other petal because we did the outside first. See, peel off can think ahead. And then just once again, add on some Copenhagen and just buff, buff, buff. And then just keep doing that until the rose is completely colored and filled in. When did peel off put head back on? As I just touch up these little little roses i am thinking this looks stunning peel off peel off peel off peel off look at that look at my face hello gorgeous look at me i yes your hand has to look like this for you to look like this you look stunning i look stunning everybody's stunning everybody a rose goddess 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 peel off i am so proud of you baby cakes we look so good oh we look so good we look good like this peel off we it is subtle look it is subtle understated look we do not, we do not have to, have to keep going and get carried away. We all knew that that was a lie. <laughs> I have one rose to go and then we are going to be our completed rose goddess. Before I do this, I just want to finish off the rest of my makeup so that like there is going to be no smudges because I feel as though if I keep moving my neck around, I'm just going to cause myself so much heartbreak. So because I contoured this section of my body with a lipstick, I'm going to do the exact same thing on my face. Because why not have blush and contour at the same time? You see what I am saying? Yes, yes, yes. So I'm just going to get Prague again and then I'm just going to do a few dots where I would typically put my contour and then just kind of buff it out do a bit of a fish face with our contour done just time for a bit of a bit of a glow bit of a shine because i was born to glow according to nyx e highlighter e why won't you open e and then just put that on our cheekbones trying not to mess up my roses i'm just going to put a little boo 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 and a little toot toot with my finger toot toot and then just dust that off and then we make a dark face mm, 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 mm. okay we are just going to finish less of those and then put on some lipstick and we are done because our eyes are so oh va va boom pigment and because the roses are so like oh my gosh the technique the application wow we don't want to put like too much on the lips because it detracts from overall look so i'm just going to put a cute little nude in the shade beijing does that not look stunning oh i guess what that means that means that we are done we are looking like a stunning rose goddess oh wait hit unnecessary okay oh Everybody do happy dance with peel off. It is just a lot of limb flailing because she has no idea what she is doing and all of the dance music is in her head. But now the peel off the makeup goddess is on YouTube. It is time for sexy slamas. <music> Boom. <laughs> but now that sexy slamas are done, there is nothing left to do. The makeup is on. We are looking like stunning rose goddesses. We look phenomenal. We look so, so good. The world is not going to be able to cope. It is just, it is just going to, it is just going to explode because, oh my gosh, there are so many makeup goddesses out there. What are we going to do? And they will not know what to do. And then just, but you know what? While you are out there and making everybody explode with so much beauty, just do not forget, do not forget what your mother always say. If you can't say something nice, say something cruel.